Hello, I'd like to show you how you can use a disk image to be able to restore an SD card cloner image um, or any uh, standard uh, image um, to a disk image to be able to look at the contents of it and be able to do rewrite operations on it. So I have disk utility opened up here on my Mac. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new disk image and I'll do a blank image and with disk utility, it's usually always best to go from the bottom up. On the image format, we would wanna do a sparse bundle or sparse disk, disk image, doesn't matter which one, I'll choose sparse bundle. Um, the partitions, uh, since we're gonna be restoring over it, it doesn't really matter, but I usually like to do master boot record because that's usually the standard, uh, the, the format that most SD cards are anyways. It's really unimportant. And the format will just make it fat to do that initial uh, file system which will get overwritten the the file system size it needs to be something larger than the size of the image the image you can see over here is 3.62 gigabytes so we'll make this like a standard 8 gigabyte uh, SD card and I'll call this SD card image and on the disk I'll call this SD card image as well and I'll save this so go ahead and you can see that it actually created the image on disk we'll say okay then you can see it appears inside the uh, the interface for SD card cloner. So I'll select the image that I want to be able to restore and you can see one of the destinations or the destination is the, uh, the sparse bundle disk image that I just did. So I'll go ahead and click on restore and we'll cl uh, click on restore to that and what it's going to do is it's going to restore that SD card image on it then it's going to expand the uh, last file system to be able to take up the full space in that uh, that um, uh, disk image. So you see there it's going now. It'll be very fast because it's it's really just uh, transferring data from one part of my, my SSD drive in my Mac to the other. Um, so it's just uncompressing that image and, and putting it on to that, that disk image. So it's, it's completed the uh, restore and uh, expanded it. So now it's done and you can see that now it's uh, eight gigabytes. So that's the way that you can restore a um, image onto a disk image um, to be able to uh, manipulate it if you want to. Thanks for watching and be sure to download a trial of SD card cloner for free at tucanews.com.